Hello students, this is a brief tutorial as to how you are going to be applying verbology on your asynchronous days. Don't have the benefit of those really nice whiteboard tables at home, so we're making a virtual whiteboard. So you will get the link in the daily slides to a verbology word in which all you need to do is follow is follow the steps. Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, and then fill in the blanks. So the remote verbology word of the day is chronometer. Step one, drag as many of these dividers as needed onto the word to break it into its subparts, just like we do in class. You may not need all of these dividers. So I believe crone and meter, drag another one of these bad boys over here. So that's how I think the word is divided, like so. Uh, step two, refer to your verbology resource to define each subpart down in these boxes below. You may not need all of these boxes. They're just there in case you need them. So if you load your verbology resource, in control F on the screen, It's working. I'll go to this one that I know is already loaded. So if I go to Control F, I'm going to type in C H R O N because I know that's that's where I think the word is broken into its subparts. Cron is not a prefix, so I'm moving on to root words, and again I'm doing a search. Ah, look at that. It's not only cron, it's chrono, which means time. So going back, I know that chromo, chrono is the base word I'm working with, and it means time. Now, let's look for meter. All right, not in the root words. Now let's look into suffixes. Meter. Sure enough, meter, measure, and it's a noun. Measure. Identify the part of speech, it's a noun. So put the word into my definition to my own words. Something to measure time, like maybe a watch or a clock. I'm going to insert a picture, image, search the web. How about a watch? Ah, that's a Yes, it is. And I'm going to drag that watch down into this box right here. Boom. And then I turn the assignment into Google Classroom. Isn't verbology fun? 